When running your own business, when is it okay to pay yourself? What's the right time? How much are you taking out? Is your business going to suffer? These are the questions I struggled with starting my business. I was unsure what the plan might be, but eight months later, I am now comfortable with paying myself from my Etsy store profits. Mabuhay, Pina family. Happy hour, you guys. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, great to have you. Or welcome back if you have been here before. Thank you for returning. So here on my channel, we do cash stuffing, unstuffing, cash budgeting, sinking funds, savings challenges, just about anything that has to do with saving money in a fun way. If that's something that interests you or if this is your first time catching one of my cash stuffings, I do invite you to subscribe because I do cash stuffing here each and every week and I love to share my journey with you and hit that notification bell so you're first to see my latest video. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram for any updates and more content. On today's video, I'm cash stuffing a portion of my Etsy income for the month of February. Um, this year, I decided that I'm going to pay myself um, from my Etsy income. I wasn't doing that last year when I opened my Etsy shop last June of 2022. However, I had been putting away 30% of my income to my business savings account for tax purposes and the rest to my business checking account for um, product inventory. And I wasn't getting anything from that. Like whatever I was earning from my sales at that time, I was reinvesting it back into my business. So this year, I've decided to pay myself from that income because it's important that you pay yourself for the hard work that you're doing. I'm only paying myself 10% of net sales each month. Besides, my uh, tax advisor said, like, it's okay, even though, you know, I'm set as an LLC and not an S Corp for tax purposes. So instead of a paycheck, I categorize it as an owner's draw. So since things are stable with a business, I felt now was okay to pull a little from the profits to pay myself. So for anyone wondering if, you know, they can do the same with their business, you have to take a look at your cash flow. So how much do you need to operate, um, including like restocking and the fees associated with, you know, running the business. So if you have a plenty left over, then you could consider withdrawing. Okay, so... For the month of February, um, my sales were $3,429.62. And of course, that's from all of you guys. So thank you all. Um, I didn't get that whole amount. Using Etsy platform or website to sell your products, they do take a lot of fees such as um, listing fees, transaction fees, uh, processing fees and credits, uh, shipping labels, and any adjustments. Um, I also have to pay for marketing fees. So the total fees was $1,034.69 for this month. So... After all the fees deducted, my take-home pay was $2,394.93. 10% of that is $239. And that is the amount we are going to cash stuff into my 
priority savings, which are my savings challenges. So I'm paying myself to put into uh, what is priority to me and my family, and that is to save more money for our house fund down payment. So I'd rather do this business cash stuffing once a month rather than every week because some week your sales are better than the other weeks and during the month I might need the cash flow to operate the business. So let's get started. Okay so we have our cash pouch right here and we're gonna go ahead and just double check the cash because my husband had to withdraw for me $239. We have 50, 150, 70, 90, 200, 220, 25, 30, 35, 37, 39. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just um, set this up. Okay, so you guys won't see me have like a business binder. I'd rather keep the money in my business account. When I need to buy products for my shop, I'd rather have it taken out of my business account. Everything has to be like, everything has to be recorded for tax purposes. And I think, I think I'll do this like series every month, cash stuffing my Etsy income with my YouTube paycheck combined. I know this month we won't be getting paid from YouTube for January because we didn't reach the $100 threshold. Um, I think for January we made around $77, but that's okay. You know, it's going to roll over with the February pay. So I'm expecting a check from YouTube next month in March because I saw my estimated revenue for January and February is already more than $100. Uh, no amount is too small to cash stuff. So any amount comes our way, our blessings, and we're so truly grateful. Okay, you guys, let's get started with our 2K savings challenge I think no not I think I know I will be completing this challenge today I only have three uh, more envelopes to complete and these are the lowest amounts which is reachable and I'm so excited all right so let's just look for the empty envelope so $45 20 45 Okay, what's the next one? $65. So we have 50 65 And the last empty envelope here is, let me see, let's look for it, you guys. Oh, there you go, so $50, yep. All right, so 50. Let's go ahead and move this up. All right, so let's go ahead and color in the bubbles. Okay, so 65. 45 and $50. Look, you guys, I completed this savings challenge. All the bubbles are um, colored in. Now that we have completed one savings challenge, we can put uh, more money into the other savings challenges for future cash stuffing. Um, I don't think I'm going to start a new new one until maybe I finish another I don't know what do you guys think like should I wait until I finish another challenge or should I start a new savings challenge right away let me know in the comment section down below like what do you guys want to see me do 
Okay, you guys, so we are now going to do our 2023 monthly savings challenge. So January is done, February, March, April, May, June, and we're going to start um, with the July 2023 savings. Week one is going to, we're going to stuff this with $25. Okay. And we're going to color in the box. Okay, you guys, so we are now done with this one. Okay, so the next savings challenge is going to be our 52 envelope saving challenge. Okay, so with our budget this week, we're only going to do, right? Okay, we're going to do um, number 18 mini envelope. So we're going to stuff 50 to four, so $54. Okay, 17 is here. Okay, you guys, we're just gonna write down $50 on envelope 18. Okay, so that's it for the cash stuffing this week or for this video. So thank you for keeping me company on today's cash stuffing, like a portion of my Etsy business income for the month of February. And I just want to say I'm truly grateful for all of your support in any way. Like you guys rock. So this is not a goodbye because I will see you guys later. Have a nice day.